Hello everyone and welcome back. Today after work I finally had a chance to get everything weeded. Uh, we've had a lot of rain here in Minnesota this spring and it's been the kind of rain where you get rain and then it'll be real humid and then it'll rain like the next night or the next following day after that never giving a chance for everything to dry out. So I haven't been able to come in and weed real good because you want to weed when the next day is going to be really dry so it kills off all the weeds that are then laying on top after you run through it. And tomorrow now it's supposed to rain in the afternoon, but it's supposed to be 92 uh, humid, but sunny, and then the rain, of course, in the afternoon. So I got everything weeded tonight, so hopefully everything can die off here. And then I noticed a couple days ago with my one type of beans, my tender green, that it's a pole bean, which I thought was a bush bean, so I had to put a little fence in here. But I haven't had a chance to come through and show everything that I planted and uh, just kind of go through it so we can follow along. So tomorrow, which is Father's Day, um, my kids want to take me out for lunch. So after lunch or maybe early evening tomorrow, I'll come through here and let's go through and show everything that was planted. All right, everyone. Well, it's the next afternoon. It's like early evening right now. Today was a really warm day. It got up to about 94 degrees. It was super humid, really sunny, and also really windy. You can see up there the end of the blue skies we had today. And you probably can't see it very well, but those are definitely storm clouds that are coming. You can see on my little weather app here that you can see the little blue circle. That's where I'm at. You can see there are definitely storms coming. And if you look there, Zachary lives in St. Cloud, so he's just about to get dumped on. All the kids came down and then we went out today to a Chinese buffet and we had a nice little Father's Day lunch. And after that I actually came back and you know I hoed the whole garden yesterday and got it weeded and then I went through it again because it was so hot and windy and then I just ran it all over it again to kind of upturn that top inch so all any green weeds that were underneath the soil got to the top and everything looks pretty well fried. So we'll try to quickly go through all the plants. These, these uh, videos end up taking way too long when I do the garden videos but here I have my peas and like every year I had a real problem a lot of them didn't come up I don't know why my super sweets here only two or three popped up so today I went ahead and I replanted a whole bunch of the peas I have them on both sides of this fence and you can see some of them have come up a lot of them haven't except for these rows here where most of them came up and I just went ahead and I replanted a whole package of them and hopefully I'll just get them at different times of the season so we'll start right here I've got cucumber I've got another cucumber, cucumber, I got a straight neck yellow squash there, another straight neck yellow, and then I've got two zucchinis right here. Here I've got an acorn, I've got another acorn, I don't much care for it but my folks love it so I give it to them. I only planted one pumpkin plant this year, I tried to do those real big ones last year and got a pretty decent sized one but all I do is put them up on the front step and when Halloween comes. I've never had a trick-or-treater here since I moved in, so it's pretty much, you know, feed it to the chickens. I got a watermelon right there. I have another watermelon here. This one died off. It was the only plant so far that's died off. It didn't get cut off by cutworms or anything. I don't know. It just shriveled up and died. But luckily I still have other ones. This is a crimson giant. This one is a sugar baby watermelon. I got two zucchinis. These here are both reseeds from last year that I just transplanted and they just seem to be doing really good. In this row now I've got a zucchini, I've got a crookneck yellow right there, I've got another crookneck yellow. I really like yellow squash when I do stir fries. I've got another cucumber right there, cantaloupe, another crookneck yellow, straight neck yellow, and then I've got a watermelon, and then that last one is another zucchini. I like the zucchini, I don't use them all that much, but the pigs love them. I put a few tomato plants right here. Usually I keep them on the other side of the garden, but I'm trying to mix it up. This one I bought, it's a black cherry. I've never had the uh, cherry tomatoes that are black. And these two right here are reseeds, the ones that I just dug up over on that far side. And uh, they're already catching up to this one. It's amazing how fast they go considering how small they were. Here I've got some okra. To be honest, I can't stand it, but it grows really good here. And maybe Sarah or Emily will like some. I got a jumbo jalapeno, a regular jalapeno. I'm thinking maybe I might want to make some, I don't know, salsa or something. I got an eggplant. This is broccoli through here. 
and then I've got a lot of kohlrabi. This is kohlrabi here, and then over here I just had a little bit of an end row, so I planted some beans, and I planted the 274 as my favorite, and they didn't do crap, so I just reseeded some other ones in there, a whole different kind. Over in this row now I've got beets, and I seem to have good luck with the beets coming up. This isn't too bad, there were a few that didn't germinate, but they're not doing bad, and I do like eating beets when I cook them, but I think, and I think I said this last year, <laughs> I might try to make beet sugar out of them this fall. So this here is my carrots. I planted them in a carrot tape. I know it's a cost a few dollars more, but I really like that. They're all pre, you know, set apart and everything like that. I don't have to do as much. There's one thing I can't stand. It's going through and having to weed them out. It just takes so much time. So hopefully, I've done this before, they'll grow really good. I don't really see much of them coming up on this side. But over on this end, I was out here with Sarah and Zachary earlier, and I'm pretty sure, like this little guy, I think that is a carrot. There's a carrot. I never weed this row until after they get the little second leaves, and then you can see the little frillies on them. And then I'll go through and I'll weed this whole thing out. And then the last couple of feet here is lima bean. I think I've planted lima beans almost every year and never get anything to come up, and actually looks like Four came up. They don't all look that healthy. Today it was super hot. Everything is kind of wilty and stuff. But they did come up. And then where they didn't come up, I went ahead and I planted some, I think, wax beans in between there. They won't be up, of course, for another week to 10 days. But anyway, I might even get some lima beans. In this row here now, I started with broccoli. And now with the broccoli that I planted, you know, I planted those other ones too. It, it was kind of there. That's more of a cold weather plant. So I see like I've already got a little head started right there. Might be a little bit early, but we'll see. I do like broccoli. And then I've got pepper plants here. I've got some yellow peppers. I've got green peppers. They're all the sweet kind. I've got more of the kohlrabi right here. Uh, this is a question mark because <laughs> I don't know what that is. I thought it was kohlrabi when I looked at it again, but now it looks like it could be cabbage. I'm not sure the little ticket thing fell out of it. So we'll just have to wait and see. In the end of this row, I just threw in some more beans. These are a mix that came with like yellow, green, and red. I can see some of these here are red that are coming up. You can kind of tell by the by the stem on it. And then where nothing grew right here, I reseeded today with some more, uh, I believe that I put wax beans in this one too. Starting with this row now, I have cauliflower. This is another thing that it's unfortunate that it got so hot so fast because I've already got a little cauliflower started and these plants really aren't big enough, but I always try. I've got another kind of cauliflower here. They go all the way up. When it does grow, I really do like that. I got some more peppers here. This is a, these are green peppers. And then over here, these are another kind of green pepper. They were real small plants, but they're already flowering. And then here at the end of this row, to end it out, I have two cherry tomato plants. When I bought the original plants, they didn't have any cherry tomato plants, so I went to another place and I got some cherries and I just stuck them over here. Starting with this row now, I went with red cabbage, and then I have a late cabbage, and then over here I have an early cabbage. So I, I, I do like cabbage. I grew it last year and I was surprised how much I liked it. This was a new kind. It's Chinese cabbage. Maybe you guys have seen it in the store. It almost looks like a, like a thing of celery, a loose thing of celery. But I read somewhere that it was really delicious, so I wanted to give that a try. I've got my Brussels sprouts, which I always grow. You don't really harvest them until it freezes and starts to snow. And over here, I have an eggplant. I've never tried that kind of eggplant before. It's called Pinstripe, so I wanted to give that a try. I do like eggplant, but this one looked kind of different, so I thought I'll give it a try. Okay, so in this row here, I started out with kale. This is dinosaur kale. I grew this two years ago. I didn't grow it last year. It gets to be a real hardy, thick plant, and I really did like it, so I tried that again this year. I've got another kind of kale here. I've never tried it. I don't even know what name it is. It just says kale, but I've never grew anything with leaves that looked like that. From there, we go to collards. I just like having them around. I don't mind canning them. It tastes good. You can throw it into just about anything. So I've got eight plants of collards here. I've got two plants here, an eggplant again. These are the old standby Black Beauty. And then I've got one here that is called Little Fingers. And you harvest them when they're like three inches long only, so I thought that'd be kind of interesting. So, giving those a try. And then to finish this row out, I have two more cherry tomatoes. 
And then right here, like we talked about yesterday, I have my bean row, but I didn't know these were pole beans, so of course I put the fence in. And then I've got just a regular, I don't know if they are contenders down there, but just another green bean. I've got my two rows of potatoes. I know I already covered this in an earlier video when I was planting them, but they are doing crazy. They're almost waist tall, these uh, red Pontiacs. So I don't think I've ever had red Pontiacs that grew that tall. Kind of wish that I could have mound them up, but I planted them so deep that I usually get a pretty good yield. So we'll see. The superiors are doing good. They've already flowered. And then back here, these never have flowered yet at all. And they might though, they were kind of a slower growing one, but those are gold rush right there, so they're always a good potato also. Here in my normal onion spot, I've got yellows, reds, and whites planted. You know, lost a few of them here or there. You can see where there's a bare spot, but for me, that'll be plenty of onions, so I think I'm doing pretty good. This is my row of green onions right here, and yesterday actually I harvested my first three and threw them into my supper along with some potatoes they'll just grow right back up so it's not like I'm losing out on anything. And here on the end of my little tomato section here I have another row of beans planted. I, I do like to can beans so I go through a lot of them and they're just so easy to throw into anything you're cooking. And usually I do full two full rows and this year I only did one that's why I've planted beans in a number of spots thinking oh no what if I don't have enough. I think I'm gonna have plenty. And then over here I have another 20 tomato plants. I've got early girl, I've got whopper, these are Bradley's. Over here I've got beef steak and this last one is a beef master. <laughs> Where do they come up with such stupid names? But anyway, hopefully I'll get a lot of tomatoes. In this little corner of the garden here, I'm not even weeding it. I weeded it out twice and it was like, why? Um, I have my rhubarb over here. The uh, raspberries, which were only three plants last year, are just going crazy and they're coming up everywhere so by not weeding it it gives them time I must come up through the roots and it just keeps spreading along with that so does the peppermint here that stuff keeps going so by keeping weeds in here maybe it kind of dies it down I got a lot of peppermint it's pretty sure is a pretty plant though I don't really use it for much but it looks really nice I also have some garlic over here and these are just onions that did not get picked last year that came up this year so I don't know if they'll end up being a green onion or a bulb onion but I'm just letting them grow and then over here I've got some more garlic. Garlic does not do good when it's in with uh, weeds and stuff but I'm not gonna, it's so close together and everything I just kind of want to see what happens and if nothing else I'll just leave it in the ground and it'll pop up again next year. Well that storm is getting closer. <laughs> I better hurry up and end this video. The only other couple things I have is this is kind of my, this is where I plant the strawberries that vine off of the other strawberries and getting a few on this one um, everybody likes to come out and eat them this one doesn't produce as many yet because these were newer plants and I've got you know, my old potatoes that I didn't plant and here I have some more of the raspberry plants and they seem to be doing fairly good too and then over here I have my main strawberry uh, patch and we've been eating them like crazy I mean you can see there's just lots of red ones that are pretty much everywhere on here Okay everyone, well that pretty much wraps up what I have planted in the garden, so at least we all know now we can just sit and watch and wait and see what we harvest. I'd like to go up and show you the apple trees and the plum trees, but I think I gotta wait. I'm gonna shut the windows up right now. I gotta make sure the chores are all done and the animals are buckled down because it's gonna be raining pretty soon. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys on the next video.